I've been training in the military for five years, but one thing that we don't do is prepare our body uh, properly. My confidence level into going to special operations was very minimum. And I just didn't want to keep feeling the way that I did. What I was doing wasn't getting me where I wanted to be. So when I went into special operations, I was 17 or 18, and I was, like everybody else, I had no idea what I was doing. There's guys out there wasting their time right now combining running with bodybuilding stuff or CrossFit or whatever, and it, it just doesn't work. You need a program designed specifically for this purpose. They focus more of the training on what your goals are and what you need to work on. You guys sent me the program that I needed versus what I kind of expected to get. It can't be a cookie cutter program. We have to adapt what we do specifically to the individual in order to get them where they need to be. So I've been doing adventure sports my entire life. You don't have to go through the process of train hard, get hurt, be frustrated. I had done a couple go ruck challenges and tough mutters and my body was not in good shape. I would be laid up for a week or two afterwards. If I'm gonna keep doing these things, I don't wanna completely wreck myself. Through a lot of our training methods, we've been able to create guys that are 200 pounds and can do double body weight deadlifts and run very good marathon times or do go ruck events and smoke them. I did an event called uh, Beach, three mile open open water swim. Super happy about the training because I felt great the whole time. I was the oldest guy there. Training at Rogue, I've become a better climber. I've become a better snowboarder. I did the Spartan Beast 42nd overall for the day. So I was the top 1%. Next year I have a very important military training and I cannot take chance of being injured. These are guys whose lives depend on their physical capabilities and you can't make mistakes with them. It's impressed me a lot. Two minutes off my swim, also off my run, boosted my pull-ups by five. I stay around 220 plus or minus five pounds. Above that 225, I've definitely leaned out, so I have a lower body fat percentage. Five, a uh, mile and a half, it's below nine. Deadlift is around five, ten, and then just upper two, which is huge. We've trained special operators from all over the world uh, and put a lot of guys successfully through selection in programs with 80 to 90 percent attrition rates. I entered your training to get into a special operating environment and currently I am in a special operating environment. Going into special forces selection, the training designed by Rogue really, really helps you out and I was able to make it through because of that. I went to the pass test for special operations and was able to pass it with ease. So our goal with online training is to not only provide a very good training program itself, but to teach them the basic principles of programming and why they're doing everything that they're doing. They uh, helped me to create my own program that I could use during my training in my infantry school. After six months with us, the operators we work with are going to understand the energy systems work that they need, the strength work they need, the individual corrective stuff that they need, and how to adapt that specifically into the program that they're going into. They're going to be self-reliant. It's not just training for one event or to you know, bench press more or whatever your goal is. It's training to enjoy the, the rest of your life physically. If you want to get started with online training, you can fill out the application and email it to us and start a conversation with us. We want to work with people who are as motivated to get successful as we are to work with them. If you're not willing to make that commitment and the sacrifice, then don't bother contacting us. Without training with Rogue, I wouldn't have been successful. I wouldn't have been, you know, where where I wanted to be. You know, I would do it again in a heartbeat.